of our Lord, 1660. There dwelt in this house Britain's wandering young king, Charles Stuart, exiled by the roundheads of the tyrant Cromwell, neglected by all save a few cavaliers, forgotten by all save his people. You've been dreaming. Only a creditor would call it this unearthly hour. Come! Come, Mr. Seymour! Who's there? Who's there? It's Captain Bristol! Captain Bristol! Where is the king? I have news for him. News from London. News from home? Yeah, this is for his ears alone. He said it is for the king alone. He's been hurt, roundheads. He fears for the king. Where is the king? I will call him, Captain. Bristol, what happened? Roundheads followed me across the channel. They're here. Roundheads here, in Holland. Your Majesty. Bristol, are you badly hurt? Oh, it is but a snap. Look to him, Wolfram. Captain Bristol is below with a message, Your Majesty. Are you there, Your Majesty? Your Majesty. Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. I, I was nearly trying to... Your Majesty. Sir. <laughs> Out by the window again. Harry. Uh. Harry, you know the King's habits even better than I do. Search in every tavern, ask in every... Well, uh, Look everywhere, all night if necessary, but don't come back until you find him. There. Charm. Charm. I assure you, ma'am, that when you wear it, it takes on an added elegance. Now, we may be craftsmen in England, but only a Dutch woman could possibly wear a ring of that Henry, size. With all that ring. heavy gold and that that jewels. You have enough. No sausage. More bread, perhaps. Um... Spanish wine. Oh. Could I perhaps, instead of the bread, no. have the Spanish wine? Yeah. It's absolutely oh, charming oh, oh, of your yes, words. It's not... Harry, yes. boy, look here. Market is open. Market is open. Market is open. But there's nothing new in news. But sire, this time the news is for you alone. Captain Bristol was shot, and here in Holland, some roundheads followed him over. Wounded, seriously? No, just a wound in the leg. Come, we'll return at once. No, let's go this way, sire. They may follow me. Oh, tut, I've not seen a single black roundhead hat in all the city anywhere. Madam, I return your Spanish wine. I took it in error. Oh, and I still have two English pennies now. Of course, my sense was... Buy yourself a sweet. There you are, my lad. Better. <laughs> yes. Now, one penny. Please, no. Flowers? No, we can't use flowers. Uh, Harry, hold. Are you looking for something? Oh, you speak English. Yes. Are you looking for something? Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, oh, yes, the, the, the tulips here. You, uh, you you grow them yourself, do you? Oh, yes, on my farm. Do you? Yeah. Oh, now, uh, what do you... 
Must be quite a sizable farm, eh? Oh, the largest in the province. Really? Uh, now, what may uh, I... Uh, the, 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 the roses here. Roses. Could I, um... Uh, yes, uh, roses. Could I, perchance, purchase, uh, say, two dozen? They're a gilder a dozen. What, um, uh, what is the name of your farm? A Bassett. The Bassett farm. Same as mine. Well, same as yours. Mm-hmm. Um, Maria Bassett? No, Katya. Ka Katya. <laughs> I could never pronounce that. Katie, Katie, we'd call it in England. Oh, would you? Yeah. Can you say it, Katie? It's just Katie. as easy, yeah. <laughs> oh, that will be two guilders, please. I have only one English penny. That's all I have. No guilders, just one penny. Oh. Who is that there on the coin? He was the King of England. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Well, I'm afraid for a penny. Perhaps you just leave have wildflowers after all. I'll arrange you a small bouquet. Charm. There you are. Oh, Charm. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very gracious. Sire, you must hurry. Me yes, here. yes. Yes? You may have the roses after all. You can pay me when next you pass. Oh, now that is mightily kind of you. That's much appreciated. Wait! Come here, and quickly. You stupid fool. No, John, we no, don't give away roses. They come from France, bring high prices. Are no, you no. so rich that any foreigner can come along? One, one moment, sir. First of all, you will oblige me if you lower your voice. Or I may have to take... Well, uh, the farm is not all hers. She has to do what I say. I have not. Uh, permit me, mistress. Personally, I am not at all taken with you. Your unmannerly abuse of mistress, mistress, um, uh, um, Basil, Basil, is entirely unjustified, merely because she desired to do me a kindness, and because uh, she knew that in England the rose is our national flower, you take on the accents of a fish. Are you an Englishman? Of a sort? Scots, some French, a bit of Welsh Irish. Mm, yes, an Englishman. Greetings in the Lord's name. Greetings. As I'm newly arrived here, are you able to tell me where? I am, like you, sir, far from home, enjoying the hospitality of these Netherlands. Aye, but tell me clearly, would you know uh, where uh, I might? Uh, uh, Hark. You must remember this, sir. It, it's an old English ballad. Come live with me and be my love. You must learn it. Oh, your pardon, sir. You were saying... Tell me, would you know where I might... Uh, 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 uh. Is the North Country in your voice, sir? Could it be, perchance, the county of um, Durham? Why, yes. How'd you know? I knew it! I knew it! Oh, in these days, we English must cling together, wherever we may be. Amen. Amen. And you, sir, this man is allowed. And you, sir, you... Or I may be forced to pay you a visit. You, mistress, I trust I may visit in any case. Good day, sir, and God's blessings on you. Harry, you are uncommonly correct. We must tarry no longer. Yes, sir, but the other way now. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Farewell once more, mistress. Be assured I shall return again, and shortly. Sire, they recognized you. have gone ill with your tut. We're not in England now. They would not dare. After all, there are more... Oh, you look so kind and poor. Please take it. How oh, very kind. Yes, we'll come in very handy. Most welcome. No, sir, the news, I'm sure, must have to do with uprisings in England. Draw your sword. Come on up here. Do as I say, quick. Now fight me. Fight you? Yes, yes, come. Is that enough? You admit I'm right? Oh, here, here, you, sir. This scoundrelly fellow dared to say that Charles Stuart was a wise and noble king who should return from his exile. Well, I don't know your feelings in the matter, sir, but as for me, I wouldn't give you two pins for it. Well, uh, what is your feelings? I would kill him, gladly. I, too. Yes, I was sure you would. Wise, noble, good. Pa, pick up your coat. 
Have any of you seen this Stuart since he was a lad? No. Well, his years of exile have made him slippery as an eel. Lazy, self-indulgent. You cannot trust the man. He takes life as a big, monstrous joke. Imagine the country in the hands of a man like that. Boy your age, talking politics. Come on. Good day, gentlemen. Perhaps he may be given to breaking a heart or two now and then. Why, I remember in Paris some years ago, there, there were two girls. I want Oh, but no matter. In spite of everything, in spite of all his follies, in spite of breaking my heart 20 times a week. <laughs> Do I, Sir Edward? <laughs> I'm heartily sorry for it. Gentlemen of the King! My lords and gentlemen, good morning. Here's food by way of penance. Food? Oh, Bread, cabbage, cheese, and, me, sir. and wine. Too. Captain Bristler's here with news. Oh, yes, I know, and he's been hurt. I've just seen a few of his friends myself. Well, what's your message? Is the wound deep? No, sir. A letter here oh. in my doublet. No, only from a king. Thank you, Bristol. He has it safe. God save your majesty. Oh, sire, the roundheads are desperate now. They'll stop at nothing. Uh, there's not to worry over. Take him up and put him in my bed. Yes, sire. Lay down. It's in cipher. Hyde. Sir? Huh? Where's the cipher book? In the kitchen, Your Majesty. Come, let us work. Cipher. Oh, old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard, eh? Uh -huh. Everyone have their share? Yes, everyone. Excellent. Uh -huh. Hyde? No, no, thank you, sir. I shall finish in two moments. I, too. Hey, ho. In two moments, I may be king of all cupboards. A ruler of Cheshire cheeses, Yorkshire hams, Devonshire creams, Welsh lambs, and all the roast beef of England. Now, you ready? Almost, sir. Almost. Come on. Down, sir. Down. Good. Now, let us see. Gentlemen. General Monk, it seems, has declared for us. I knew it. I knew gentlemen, it. Gentlemen, gentlemen, listen, please. The roundheads are faced with risings everywhere. On April the, the 10th... Come at last. Uh, hold, there's more. The country split into more factions than ever before. Good, good news. And he thinks... It might rally to us in a few more weeks were I to return now, immediately. I am sorry, gentlemen, but I think the time is not yet here. I shall not gamble our fortunes with the lives of others. But, but, sire, this time it cannot fail with General Monk and the army. Yes, yes. Any man who's... Blood runs right in his veins will fight now. You're right. Oh, it's impossible. It's beyond belief that we should falter now when everything lies within our grasp. Unless we show fear, and now is no time to show fear. The country will rise fear, at once. speak of fear. Do you think home means less to me than to you? Do you think my belly is less empty than your own? Do you think that after all these years of hopes that I... So many false hopes. Yes, false hopes, false starts, false promises. Two years after they killed my father, I fought and met defeat because the hopes were false. And later I was told the three kingdoms would rise up. I was assured, oh, the moment I crossed the border, they said, the moment I landed, the people would call out for me. Then suddenly, you remember Wilcox? I do. I was left alone with a mere handful of very brave but beaten men. What of these last ten years or more? Endless exile days. When we saw the mirage of home and every cloud drifted in from London. Nothing but more false hopes, false starts, false promises. You all know my terms as well as I. We'll go home when we are freely called by all our countrymen. And not one day before. What good's a king who's, who's only king to some? Meanwhile, I shall wait. Wait in spite of insults and humiliations and having to beg our bread and board. Wait with such good humor as is left in me. Patience, gentlemen. It may be a beggar's commodity, but it is one of the few virtues I have learnt by heart. Oh, we shall have our share of fighting yet, no fear. But until then, bear with me if you please. 
except for me, this is a voluntary exile. It has always been a voluntary one, and for that I thank you. All those who wish to leave have my permission so to do. My lords and gentlemen, the audience has ended. Yes? Sir, mm -hmm. with your permission, I would like to discuss... Oh, yeah. all right. Yes, I'll, I'll come outside. Your Majesty, you must get away from here. Oh, Hyde, I... I was so sure that... that this time... Yes, I too. Sir, you must... you must leave the city at once. Huh? Leave? Why? Because a few roundheads. Oh, we're used to sport like that. Well, since this news and with matters at home as they are, they wouldn't hesitate to kill you. You must go away until we hear again, sir, in a few days. Where can I go? No. No, there's no chance that I... Anything might happen these next days, sir. For the future, for all our sakes, you... You must not risk staying here. I don't know where you can go, sir, but... Well, I might drive Flanders for a bit. No, that's too far. Bruges again? Order? No. No, by all the Scottish saints. I know just the place. Oh? Where's that, sir? It might take a bit of doing, but I, I think if I cut my hair short and change my clothes... Oh, here it is, I'm sure. Oh, what a big barge. Yes, so it is. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, sire. But, sire... Are you sure this is the wisest plan? Hyde never proposed a better one. Oh, whilst I'm there, you come and report to me from time to time. Well, perhaps we will all come out to see you. Either in desperate search of food, <laughs> or bring you final news about returning home. It's too good to think on now. Oh, good evening. Remember me from the market? Oh, yes, yes, I do. Here, let me have that. That's far too large a pole for so small a miss. I've always wanted to try it. Here. All right. Uh, no, you hold it here, against your shoulder. Oh, mm -hmm. Now get a firm grip on it. I am awkward, aren't uh -huh. I? Push. <laughs> <laughs> now you go back. Go oh, back. Uh, well, the sleeping beauty. Does he always let you do all the work? Is he your master? Oh, no, he's my cousin, Jan. Oh, he's big, isn't he? Strong, healthy? Oh, yes, but, uh, well, you see, he owns all the land next to my farm and inn. And oh, you have an inn, too, have you? Yes. Since my father died, they are both mine. Oh. But uh, he owns all the debts on me. Oh, debts? <laughs> uh -huh. I've never been without. Mine are so big. 3,000 guilders, 3,000. Who are you? Well, go on back to sleep, you lazy clod, letting a poor lass do all your work for you. Who is he? Fish for we and me. By what right do you interfere? I'm the Mufrau Scardian. Oh, no, you are not. You are only. Isn't that the man from the marketplace? You told him about me, huh? No! No, 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 no! Ah, I wish I'd been able to do that to Cromwell. Who? Cromwell, oh, you... <laughs> oh, he was big. Stop. Stop. What's this? Oh, he was big. Much bigger than I am. Black of hair. Over, over two yards tall. Might have been Stuart. He said black hair and ridiculous. Merely because a man fights and he's two yards tall, there's no warrant he's our devil. Charles, eh? You know, my father's name was Charles. So was mine. And uh, was not your English king named Charles? Scottish. Scottish. He told us he was a scandalous man. King scandalous? But the teachers told us so. Evil, they said. Evil? Oh, that's fish. I think not a, a little rakish at times, but not truly evil. But then why would they talk about oh, him? it's the way the world wags. It's a long story, full of sound and fury. Oh. Oh, uh, then is it dangerous for all of you who side with your king? A uh, little inconvenient, but that is why I... Was... Why you hid in the market from the... Yes, yes, oh. yes, yes. And that is why I wondered if, if I could continue to hide with you. Um. I, I mean, I could work on your farm. Oh, but can you? What work? 
Of course, I can dig and plow and plant. Mm-hmm. With those well-tended hands? Well, they were not too well-tended after Worcester. Uh, Worcester? There was a battle in England. Oh. Battle. Oh. Uh, then you fought for your king. Fought for? I've gone barefooted for the king. I've slept in dripping woods for him, hidden in a great oak all day while the soldiers who hunted me ate their meal under the branch that I lay on. I've steered the king's boat, groomed the king's horses, and cooked the king's dinner. I've begged, borrowed, stolen, lied, cheated. <sighs> what have I not done for the king? Then perhaps you could become accustomed to work after all. But mine's a big farm, you know. Really enormous. In fact, it's quite a little kingdom in itself. I had a farm once. You did? You know, if my work was satisfactory, I I might even be able to help you to pay off those debts to, to what's his name? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, then he wouldn't bother you anymore. Oh, well. With you or the farm, he'll stay away a little while anyway. He won't forget, but uh, he's not very brave. Good. Then tell me, how would you say, could you use an extra man in Dutch? Could you an extra man gebruiken? Could you? Um, well, could you an extra man gebruiken? <laughs> 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 could you? <laughs> yeah. Good. Might be it. You mean from Holland? Yes, it might. From Holland. From Holland. From Holland. From Holland. Kindly await me outside. Bring me Colonel Ingram. Yes, sir. Colonel Ingram! Colonel Ingram! Colonel Ingram? Well, they'll need the likes of him now. I'll wait till they have in a month in which to act. In not a week. Within that time, he'll be proclaimed throughout the Commonwealth. Those bundlers would lock the stable door when the horses bolted. Still in the province, they think. Who we'll have you in Holland now? Tompkins, Fairburns, Winthrop, Jasper. Salvation Robbins. You will go, Colonel Ingram. By God's grace. You will yourself discharge this holy mission. We've not a moment to lose. Yours is the blessed destiny. Our prayers go with you. Amen. I shall leave by fast packet for The Hague and arrive well in advance of today's news. His hiding out is obviously a maneuver to permit more sinful plots to hatch in luxury and ease. And even now I vow that he and 
his evil minions are scheming their revenge to the waterfront, planning death and destruction. Is all the baggage aboard? Yes, sir. I'm told all through the country the people right up on the walls. God save King Charles. We're still secure from such infection. I have not seen it yet. Come live with me and be my love And we will all the pleasures prove Bum 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 English bum, fellow, bum, eh? Bum. Englishman, eh? Fellow, from your song, I take it that you are some exiled Englishman, or one at least familiar with that noble English tongue. Qu'est-ce que vous disiez, monsieur? That is French. Kann sein, that is German. Oh, we desire you to speak English, and um, stand up when you address a nobleman. Well, sir, what is your will? I'm told there's an inn hereabouts. An excellent inn. A man, a beast, or... My lord, even that understates me. <laughs> However, it is no matter. Come, lead us to the... Very good, sir. Nice fish. Yes. Uh, you uh, work here, I presume, in what capacity? As overseer, my lord. A fellow exile, overseer. Truly an Englishman. We're mightily proud of you. <laughs> Tell me, fellow, at this inn, can there be bed and supper? Ah. Uh, 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 what would be the cost for my plain entertainment? Well, charges have gone up, my lord. Could you pay, perhaps, um, two guilders a night? Two guilders? Hmm. Fellow, when I have eaten at this supper and slept in this bed, you will charge your next guest 20 guilders. And if he quibbles, say to him, a king slept in this bed and ate of this platter. Odds fish. Which king? Look at me. Where have you seen this before? And this? And this? <laughs> I've seen you before, that's certain. Certain. But where? Where? Does your heart know its king now? Not Charles Stuart. The wandering Stuart. Oh, sire. Lead on, lead on. Oh, what am I thinking? You must be tired and hungry. I am indeed, I am indeed. Let me lead you to our humble inn, your majesty, and partake of our poor, plain, simple Shh. duck. You must not burst to this meeting. Sire, you may depend on my being discretion itself. We uh, are traveling incognito. Yes. But the day will come, as the uh, ballad mongers have to say, that the king shall enjoy his own again. <laughs> and the king shall enjoy his own again. Yes, yes. You uh, forgot the fish. Uh, yes. Case, stay on the horse. Kashi, call the mistress, quick. Kashi. Mm. But uh, clean. <laughs> That's what I like about these Dutch. Clean. Had. Oh. Ah. There is a reward in exile. One. Uh, one learns how the humbler classes. Oh. I hope. 
Your quarter, sire? This note, which uh, we uh, now sign, will bring, when presented to uh, the royal mint one day, not two Dutch guilders, but 20 golden guineas. Oh, thank you, sire. <laughs> Why did I never think of that? <laughs> Hello. As a loyal Englishman, tell your king what's for supper. Well, we have a rack of lamb. Rack of lamb. Baron of beef. Baron of beef. Puddings. Puddings. Vegetables. Vegetables. Fruits. Fruits. Greens. Fine Dutch cheeses. Dutch cheeses. And a suckling pig. And a suckling pig. Mmm. Mmm. Well, certainly, sire. Fast, delicious. Mmm. Suckling pig. Splendid fellow, splendid fellow. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. In the few short days he's been here, he's done so much for the inn and for the farm, too, and he's always... We shall soon have need of such men as he. Brave men and true. Oh. Soon? That's all. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. A royal feast. In truth, a royal feast. Kenny, English, Finnish. Well, I was. Good night. No manners, no tact. No, no. My friend is strong. Is that the word? Knows nothing. No. We but must, we must, well, I, we must not admit to anything. No. News travels whiff, whiff like that. <laughs> Last week I was in England Where selling fish. Is that really? My sister married there in Hull. Oh. Uh, good man, good mm. business too. All over, everywhere. Just speak. Do they? Is that <laughs> if those roundheads, <laughs> you know roundheads. Yes. Oh, yes. If they knew he was here. Uh, we should have blood instead of wine flowing here tonight. <laughs> Peter, come on, Peter. Come on. Uh, English Kenny. Uh, I know, I know. English Kenny. He's strong. <laughs> mm. mm. He king. is the English king, I tell you. I told you, you shouldn't speak I about the king. Ah, uh, but young. Yeah. He wants you with him when he starts his new rebellion. Oh, and he rebellion? Also... When, when, when is this to be? Soon, he said. Oh, soon. Oh, it all seems such a waste of time. That is for people who can really do things. Better things than arguing and worrying about politics and, and, and kingdoms and, and... and all that sort of rubbish. Oh, it's, it's not, is it? Well, you see, England is a big and important country of some... Seven million people, and, and, and... Well, we owe them a debt of, of, of... Debt nonsense. That's just a fanciful excuse to... to start fighting. Now, I have a debt, a real one. Three thousand guilders. Yes, I know, I know. It must be met, or, or I lose my farm to Jan. Yes, yes. But you don't think that's important, do you? Yes, of course, very. Oh, you men, you never worry about serious things. The minute he beckons, off you'll trot. You'll go slashing poor people's throats. All for him. While we here, we... While we... Uh, we... We what? We... While you could have been doing something... Something better. Well... You like the work here, don't you? Wondrously. Well, I... That is the... We are very satisfied with you. In a few days, you've proved very helpful. Here, I'll, I'll do it. Oh, thank you. you proved very helpful to all of us. You could stay on here, you know, as long as you want. What is it? 
Says lodging for the night, adequate for a lady of quality. Well, possibly. See for yourself. Come in. Charles. Charles. Well, no. Says you're from a good Good French wine. Mm, you would have it, eh? <laughs> Our best lodgings are for the moment occupied by a by a very special gentleman. <laughs> Now, 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 the vegetables, where are they? Oh, yes, yes. How long has it been since we... Five years. In June, exactly. And all this has happened since then. How deliciously romantic. It is all most exciting. I... I've not seen so fine a dress since then. But in a few weeks, 
A few days, perhaps. It would all come back. It will all be over. Yes. Do you still dance as badly as ever? <laughs> I've had very little chance to practice. Come. Madame. Sire. Ready? You are very reminiscent, Arbella. How cruel you are. <laughs> Well, surely a man will not be damned for a little irregular pleasure, will he? <laughs> <laughs> Always the same, Charles. Ah, my bath. Merci, ma chère. Je viens tout de suite. <laughs> Sire. <laughs> Charles, I have ordered tuberose. Tuberose? You say scent. Remember? I remember. Tell me, Charles. Charles, have I changed? Not a whit. Merci, mon amour. You're an angel. Uh, by the way, they tell me someone from every court in Europe arrives at the Hague each day. Why? Why? Silly. To see you, of course. They know you will be recalled soon. Those weathercocks tell the wither of the wind's direction better than my most devoted agents, fresh from London. Soon you may marry anyone you please. Soon you may have anything you wish. Anything I wish? Yes, anything. Ooh, it's hot. Uh, listen to me, Charles. Come in, Charles, Sherry. Come in. Louis asked me to tell you that that little music box in there is only an advanced token of his friendship. The King of France is a very wise man. Why? He could not have chosen a more persuasive emissary. Fiddlesticks. This is not an official visit. Oh? Well, uh, not really. But he's very, very anxious that France enjoy your favor. Tuberose. Merci, Charles. You know what? He's sending that ugly daughter of the old Duke de Sully over to London. No. <laughs> yes, oh. in the event of your majesty's restoration. Most indefinite date, I assure you. Now, I shall go alone as well to attend her. I uh, shall have my... <laughs> Thank you. My own apartments. Sounds mightily convenient, well planned, what's she like? Huh? She's young enough, but, oh, she's big. Big feet, big hands. I wish I'd had that music box before. But why? I could have sold it in the marketplace for food. Poor Charles. You always joke. I could have lived like a king with what that must have cost. Really, Charles? <laughs> <laughs> well, it must be worth uh, mm -hmm. 200 pounds, uh, guilders, two, three thousand. Really? Three thousand guilders. Arbella, mm -hmm. I'm deeply obliged to you for bringing me that, that toy. Oh, it's nothing. It has no use. It's just very pretty. It's and a, I thought. It has a use. What was that? I'm being called. You mean you have to? Oh, <laughs> How fantastic. Oh, Charles, do not go yet. I haven't heard your plans. I shall be out immediately. Oh, dearest Arbella, I, I have no plans. There's been no truly solid news. And, and, and there's still too much in the way. <laughs> Besides, <laughs> I'm almost beyond caring. I'm wondrous happy here. You've done me a great service, my dear. Greater than you know. Why shall I see you at The Hague? I do want to see you without Charles. Heavy business tonight, I Nothing trust. important, but the round heads. Excellent. Now, this box. They still plague our house. At this box, I, I want you to... I passed two on the way, sir. God's blood, Harry. Talk not to me of round heads. Now, this is important. Now, hark close. At the first light, take this to the market and sell it for no less than 3,000 guilders. 3,000 guilders? And get the money back here to me immediately. But, sir... I need it for a very special reason. I'm the young lady who owns this farm. Hello, let me do it. 
You slept well, I trust. Pardon me, please. No. I dreamed. Too much, perhaps. Still. It was not unpleasant. Our inn is indebted to you for your custom. Au revoir, Charles. Au revoir, milady. I'm sure this will clear up everything. Pay all debts to Jan. Jan. Charles! Charles, I could not ask you in front of all those people. Oh. But uh, when will you really come back? Oh. Perhaps never. But reasons to go and oh. many to stay. Mm -hmm. I see. And that will lead you to the Hague. Then au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir, Charles. Allez! Sleep after seven in the morning. I've been up since daybreak, but I'll I. I'll attend to the horses of the Countess's carriage. Yes, they were attended to also, but of course, I want. Of course they would be. Do you know what I think? What? I think you do not belong here. I. Well, perhaps our work here is too too much for you. I, I never said that there I. There are many things here that show that you do not belong. Things left undone or, or not done at all. For example, the flue in the chimney. But the other day you said that oh, I. Please understand, I. I'm deeply. Grateful for all the work you've done. But I just cannot. I but. But ever since your. But ever since your king arrived and that other foreigner, I have. Well, I. I just cannot afford to have my farm upset like this. I have a reputation, I have responsibilities, and I just cannot afford it. I understand. I'm sorry. I hope you will find some other work until he calls, of course. Or perhaps the foreign woman will befriend oh, you. Oh, now, now, Mistress Katie, you must... That will be all. Goodbye, and... Thank you. And please don't tread on the tulips.
my lady, to the city. You will see him there and he's not coming back. Why, may I ask? Because he was unsatisfactory. Oh, dear. He appeared to be so efficient, especially this morning. I mean, the clever way he handled your accounts. Accounts? Yes. What accounts? Oh, I don't know. Uh, something. Debts, perhaps? Debts? Uh, what debts? Uh, very early, I heard him talking beneath my window. Oh. He had uh, pawned uh, some jewel trifle. Some relic, I think. Oh, really? A friend brought him the money, and later I saw him pay it out to, to a Dutchman. No, I thought him most efficient. And uh, he told me how very much he liked you. Well, it is not my affair. Are we on the right road now? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my child. You have a delightful inn. I shall recommend it. Good day. Ale, thank you. Ale. Oh, thank No, not again. Charles, no.
from England? Long since. I have seen you before. Somewhere. And I you. Tell me plainly. Of which party are you? If I ever see my home again, I shall belong to no party. What prevents your return? I lack uh, the means. I will trust you a little. I am come to meet a man whose face I have not seen for many years. If you can put me on his track, Why do they sit so long? Well, there must be something wrong. Wrong? Wrong? Oh, no, no. Nothing wrong. Is there such a man as I describe? Why should I play spy for you? Because you lack the means. And the price is set on the head of Charles Stewart. Stewart? You speak of the king? You are paid to answer. Ah, mmm, beef, beef, mmm. Do I smell beef? Ah, the roast beef of old England. Or, or is it some commoner smell? Some, uh, some wine, the dark bird. I was going to tell the, the king. In the, in the cellar, go, please. The last, the last part, please. I am to sit with a round head. I. This is to be exiled. This is to be discrowned. Get rid of him. Out. And see that he bears his head. See to it. Gentlemen demands that you doff your hat, sir. I bear my head only in the presence of death. What? What's this messy talk of death? Sire, this gentleman here is in search of the discrowned king. I'm to my room. I'm tired. But sire, your dinner, the beef has been specially no, prepared. No, I'm no glutton. Easy satisfied. Easy satisfied. I would sleep a little. You shall sleep sound. God's blood, man, draw your sword. Man, man, man! Here, here, call watch! Help! Help! I, I have no quarrel with anyone. I'm not really a king. I, I'm poor Dick Pinner, an actor out of work. Ingram, hold, the jest is done. Keep him away. I am not a king. Can't you tell a knave from a king? I was just but play acting for, for beef and bread. Ingram, look at me. I haven't hurt anybody. Here, look. Look at my sword. It's, it's a play sword. You see? It's only a, a stage sword. Look at me, I say. Look at me. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I command you. Look at me. Is your sight so distorted that in this poor craven clown you see a king? Look well at me. Don't you know a steward when you see one? Steward? To be sure. I should have known that face. As a soldier, I should prefer more equal odds. I too. But God has willed it otherwise, and of him we should now ask pardon. It were better bread of you, were you to ask his pardon. My guests.
put much your trust in princes, as some have learned the secret of survival. Down there? No, sir. Search the cellars. I 
must return to the city. I go by the main highway. I'll be back tomorrow and tell you everything. Goodbye, my darling. But how will you get away? Mistress, the candles, please. Coming, sir. Charles, how will you? Shh, go now. Don't be afraid. I, I shall be back. We have searched everywhere, Colonel. He must have got away. Impossible. Should he get to the town tonight, our last chance is gone. They've heard from England. They'll soon be here, taken back. He must be caught tonight. By what right do you? Did you speak, mistress? Yes, I did. I don't know or care about your politics. I can't stop you doing anything. But when you come as a stranger to my house, my inn, and how the hard-working countryman to death because... because he's loyal to his king, then it's time for me to say something. Don't play the fool. He is Charles Stewart. Hurry, come on the horse. Yeah, let's go and put him down. Laughing, Freddy, hold the reins. Chased by horse. Robins, follow me. They caught the wrong one. Wrong is someone masquerading for Stuart. Some play actor, he said. The answer on the main highway? Yes, sir, all. The girl, sir? Yes. The young girl of the inn? Yes. She's ridden off across the field. Signal in all directions? Yes, sir. She will lead us to him. Give chase immediately. Signal to all bridges, crossroads. Trap him. Trap him whichever way he takes. Along the canals or through the fields. Send me word, moan he's been caught. Bring him here, dead or alive. Charla used to hide in here. I thought my hiding days were over. This is wonderful. We should have come here before. Oh, Charles, this is no time to... Charles! Charles! Here. Can you see anything? Not yet. Shh. I think I hear. I heard them talk back. They said your friends might come for you tonight. Friends might come? Why? They said some... some news that... Well, I didn't quite understand. News? What news? What sort of news? Katie, think, think, think! Oh, I'm not sure, but it sounded good for you, Charles. Shh, shh. I also know. He told me who you are. I understand now why you... Should we not be able to... Should something happen? Oh, I had such plans for us. Katie, I must tell you now, in a few moments, what I... wanted to spend my life telling you. What? What would you have told me, Charles? That I love you. Above all things, deeply and gratefully, Gratefully, but why? Because I found a few precious moments of shelter in, in your... Love, Charles. Yes, in your love. Oh, Charles, I do love you with all my heart. I don't know what will happen here or tomorrow after that. There. The horse is in the back. Yes, over there.
There are the horses. I'll follow straight away. I'll not leave you. We'll go by the main road. My friends will probably come that way. Come on! Come on! you go first. No, Charles, I won't leave you. Go, go, I bet you go. doesn't escape that way. Tompkins. Yes, sir. Set a watch on the main highway. Sound the alarm if you see anything. Yes, sir. Wait. Two men on the platform. Into the mill. Catch him on the stairs. Jasper, Carter, draw your swords. Come with me. You'll not get away this time. Our last impertinence. Last for one of us. Amen to that. You know, Colonel, our will's too narrow for the two of us. As a humble servant of the Almighty, I but follow his will. Oh, hang it all, Colonel. There's, there's been altogether too much blood spilling for that excuse, especially for the poor folk who have to do most of the spilling. I tend to put a stop to that. Rejoice, O England. Thy deliverance is at hand. Well spoken, sir. The man writes his own epitaph. Care to send for your friends again, Colonel? We'll finish this alone. No need for friends. I live for my belief. So do I. But mine is more old-fashioned. That God made men free to, to live as they please. Blasphemer, heretic, ungodly steward. Such bladder I've never heard. England will live whatever happens to either one of us. But you know, I feel she'll find life sweeter if you die in my step.
nothing to him yet about. I said say nothing. You see, I would like to be the one who tells us. Of course, I understand. Very good. Well, run along. Run along. Wilcox. Paper. Give him the paper. Milbank has it. Milbank. Oh, oh, no, no. Never mind. Of course. Uh, here it is. No, no, no. That isn't it. The king is coming. The king is coming now. Leave me. Wait outside. Let the prisoners round it up and send to the rear. Your Majesty, I, but uh, you all right, sir? Are you, are you hurt? Hired. Where are the others? The Outside, sir. But thank God you're all right, sir. Because, because I have the most wonderful news. Oh? Your Majesty, the, the, uh, the time, the, the moment that, that you, that we have all been waiting for us. Has come at last. Please, please. A new, a free parliament has on behalf of the people of, of all sects and parties asked that, that you return at once. What, uh, what are the conditions? There are no conditions. All yours have been accepted. A general pardon, freedom to all religions, everything. Yes, 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 yes. Your pardon, sir. Here it is. Here, sir, from the Commons and signed by the Speaker of the House. Save the king. Sir, would you would you come outside, sir? They're, they're waiting. Gentlemen, the king! The king! The king! Trumpeters, are you ready? We're ready, sir. Make a 
Wilcox, later. I love her, and that is my decision. I presume, sir, that you have considered the consequences? I have. It's my life, and I have the right to live it as I choose. Sir, you only have duties to your people. Would they deny me the, the liberty which they now have? Without you, they've lost it all again. You belong to them, and not to yourself. You are their past and their future, their memory and hope. You are their flag and their emblem. But you cannot know what... I, I know you, Charles. And I also know my king. I will not listen any longer. A king who will not listen. Yes, well? Your Majesty, the procession is formed up. The Queen Mother and the rest of the royal party are already aboard. Sir. Is Mistress Basel still upstairs? Yes, Your Majesty. My lord, ladies. No, 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 no. Your Majesty, the French ambassador. Not now, not now. But I understand you wish to speak to Dr. Russell. Oh, about the soldiers' hospital. Yes, I know, of course. Uh, yeah. But later, I cannot. Very well, sire. But what about the deputation from Parliament? Leave me, Wilcox, later on. Yes. There's very little time, sire. It's almost flood tide now. Please, leave me, Wilcox. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Oh, how beautiful. But have you seen how beautiful the fleet is at anchor? And no, I haven't. I have my life, too. My obligations, my duties. I belong to my farm. As I to mine, eh? Oh, now, all the things you'll be able to do for me. So many people. All the wounds you'll be able to heal. Plant more tulips in that big field on the left as you leave the road, remember? And then I'm going to get a larger barge this time. And my inn. My inn will be famous. One moment longer. Longer, but sir. Yes, I know, but the Chancellor has just gone up to call the King now. All these memories I will put like rose leaves in a box. And I'll come to you in dreams. I love you. I shall always love you. Beyond measure. Beyond proof. Beyond. I'm afraid we can't wait any longer. Everybody is awaiting his majesty. We shall have to disturb him now. Ready, sir. Behold him just one second. Ready, one prepare his majesty. Your majesty. Your pardon, sir. The wig, the king's wig.
God give you his protection, sir. Today, tomorrow, and at all times. And his help hide. I shall need it. Your royal highnesses, my lords, ladies, and gentlemen. His Majesty Charles II, Red. by the grace of God, of England, Scotland, Ireland, and France, King. Defender of the faith and of the Church of England and also of Ireland, in earth the supreme head. Before we move on, we have something we want you to see. It's a chance for you to also do a little comparing. That ending we just showed was the one the American audiences saw when the exile played in theaters in this country. However, the European version of the film was released with a much different ending. We're going to bring you that right now. So for a little comparison shopping, here's the European ending to the exile. Majesty, your pardons, may the flesh of the Chancellor. Thank you, sir. With us, and with the King. The wig, the King's wig. Here, the thank you. Uh, turn your head a bit this way. There, the wig, it, it's straight now. His Majesty's hand in the house. of England and also of Ireland, in earth the supreme head.
What do you think, Meneer? Uh, here, misschien. Nee, here. Mm, no. Nee? Yes, yes. Behind yeah. this old standard, that would serve splendidly. Uh, that's it. Uh, uh, the text. I dictated it this morning. Oh, thank you. Now, let me see. What is it you wish to say? Uh, oh, yes. This tablet is dedicated by the people of the Netherlands to King Charles II of so-and-so and so-and-so, who from the so-and-so and so-and-so, whatever year it was, uh, to the so-and-so and so-and-so of May 1660. Uh, Mania, would you mind if I sent this chair to the Chancellor at Oxford? Nay, Mania. Oh, thank you very much. Found shelter in this house and in our country. For 14 years, the young king lived in poverty-stricken exile, neglected by... Did you want something? No, nothing. Hmm. Neglected by all, save a few loyal cavaliers. Forgotten by all, save his people. Restored by their free will, he brought back to them their long denied but cherished liberties. Long live King Charles, May the 23rd, 1660. <laughs>